what's going on everyone welcome back to another video finally finally the exhaust for the Mito is going to be installed today um, I gotta tell you I already started that last week together with a friend and we had some big issues fitting the exhaust you're going to see that right now um, we actually tried to fit the new exhaust I, I unpacked it and I was very happy and then I started to get the old exhaust off um, which you're seeing right now. We tried to fit the new exhaust. Well, then we cut the old exhaust, of course. Um, we cut it down. Okay, so we decided to, before we apply the new one, let's just start the motor and see how it sounds without any exhaust <laughs> just just the engine And then we started to install the new exhaust and then we saw that, well, we couldn't fit the exhaust because we had to cut the original diffuser. Because you know probably the new diffuser that I painted in the last video, which was a big fail, but we did it already and it was not a fail again, by the way. We discovered that this diffuser is yet is just a cover. So we need to cover the original diffuser. So we thought, well, the new exhaust is probably just going to fit underneath the original diffuser, but it didn't. It, we needed to cut the original part. We didn't know that. And it was getting dark and it was getting very cold and we saw that we cannot cut at 11 p.m. in my neighborhood. That's totally not possible. So I decided, like, well, yeah, screw that. We'll just sum up what we did last time and then we're going to continue working on the car today. So today's the day we're going to continue on the car. Then we can start to cut the original diffuser, which we bought yesterday. We bought a second original diffuser because I don't want to cut the original part without having, you know, a second one in terms of when we fuck it up. Yeah, that's why we bought a new one and we're going to cut that now and then, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. Now we got the second original diffuser. I just bought it yesterday for 50 euros. It was quite cheap actually. And we're going to replace mine because I want to keep mine because it's it's not that dirty. So I don't want to cut this one. But we need to cut here um, to fit the new um, exhaust, which is in here somewhere beneath all that shit. I know it's bad to rev the car when it's cold. But I had to. I mean, come on. This is uh, this is too this is too unique. The sound is too unique. I just I just needed to. I know. It's I, I I don't I know. It hurts. Let's lift the car real quick and then we can finally really install the new exhaust. It's so
Okay, everything is off and uh, we finally can see how the exhaust will be coming out um, right at the center. Now I'm very excited and then we will cut this diffuser right there, cut it right there somewhere so the exhaust is coming out and I am really worried about the reflectors and the, uh, well, yeah, back drive and light um, because they will be covered. Let's find out if I'm worried for nothing or not. Yep, I was worried for nothing. Oh, god damn. I'm glad. There we go. This is the diffuser, by the way. The cover that we painted in black. It actually does look quite nice. And there is where the exhaust is coming out. Well, that's more than obvious. And we do have holes for the back reverse lights and the reflectors and everything, which is quite good. What the hell is that? Is that dirt? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, so the exhaust itself is installed. We just need to install the tips. Okay, so we did all we do, bruh. We did, Jesus. Okay, so we did everything we need to do today, or to say it in other ways, we did everything we could do today. It was getting dark again, uh, winter time, or you know, autumn or fall, as you say in America. It's not the best time to record thing, things with cars because the cars work tend to go longer than you expected, and then it turns dark sooner than you expected. So the thing is, we can still cut the second not original well it's still original but used diffuser that i bought for the alpha it's right here um and i marked the lines where i'm about to cut everything um all the way to that because that's where the tips of the exhaust come out it's time to start cutting the diffuser yay Alright, so yeah, we cut everything and uh, here we are. It's dark outside, it's 6 p.m. or 6.30 p.m. and uh, we cannot really record it outside. I mean, even here in this room, the Sony FDR-X3000 is not really capable of low light, even though I searched for the best settings in the internet. And my other camera, which is not really mine, is not even close to good at low light so we're not continuing this tonight we're going to do that tomorrow morning tonight is saturday night just to let you know and tomorrow morning is 
Sunday. And I'm excited because it sounds super awesome. It still does that little, you know, bang noise and I'm really happy about that. Willie helped out a lot tonight. Big guy, love him. Okay, final part of exhaust. Mito, Mito, exhaust. Doing everything we can to get it back on the straight because I'd like to leave it like that, but it's not possible. This is very illegal in Germany, so yeah. We're sticking everything back on and then we're good to go. Okay, so yeah, that's it for the build of the Ragusan exhaust. Took a long time, longer than I expected. Like, I thought it took a day and then it took like three or four days if you combine all the days that I was working on the car. I had to drill holes in here. I had to drill some extra holes, but I really am happy that this is over now, really. This took way too long. I'm very happy that this is over now. All right, okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, give it a like. If not, give it a dislike. Of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel. That would really help me out. And uh, I hope you enjoy the sound and the looks of my meter. Hope you're looking forward to the next video, because I do. And stay tuned for the meter in general. And I'm gonna see you in the next video.